So here we're in the yard of Trinity Church, uh, which uh, was Alexander Hamilton's church and the church of most of the elite in New York in the 18th century. Um, and this is the site, of course, of Alexander Hamilton's grave. Uh, Hamilton died at the age of 47 uh, in, of course, a famous duel with Aaron Burr, uh, his uh, longtime rival um, politically and also uh, economically. Burr and Hamilton had these interesting parallels to their lives. They were both orphaned, although Burr was born to an elite family, whereas Hamilton was certainly not, and he really managed to rise up. They practiced law next door to each other here in New York. They were both captains in the revolution, although Burr felt very spurned by uh, George Washington, whereas Hamilton had um, a very close relationship with Washington, of course, as his aide-de-camp and his right-hand man. And, uh, but he, it was really here in New York that Burr and Hamilton's rivalry became such that uh, it ended in this, this fateful duel. And uh, that had, some, had to do with, with political intrigue, essentially. And uh, Hamilton uh, didn't really trust Burr. He found him to be an opportunist. Uh, he thought that he was um, a, a real political operative. And, and Burr really was. Burr was... Um, uh, a uh, uh, very savvy politically and in the election of 1800 he managed uh, for the Democratic Republicans to sway New York in that direction uh, by doing these get out the vote campaigns. He had a kind of war, war room in his home and uh, this was a great upset, upset the election of 1800 uh, from the Federalist era of the 1790s into uh, the uh, Jeffersonian victory in the election of 1800. Now Aaron Burr ran as Jefferson's vice president uh, on, the, on the same ticket as, uh, as Thomas Jefferson. Uh, and when and they actually uh, both ran for president, but then there was a tie. And the tie gets sent to the House of Representatives. Um, and it looked like uh, Burr was going to actually win. But Hamilton, who w was a rival to Jefferson, uh, uh, Hamilton had a very different vision uh, of the development of the country than Jefferson. And, but Hamilton said that he thought that Jefferson was, uh, was basically moral, whereas he found Burr to be, um, to not be uh, basically moral. And so Hamilton uh, put his Federalist, uh, uh, or got his Federalist plank to back Jefferson uh, for president. And so in the House of Representatives, the, uh, the vote went to Jefferson. Jefferson became president in 1800, and Aaron Burr became uh, vice president. And Burr really uh, blamed Hamilton for this, and he really was uh, very um, insulted and hurt as a result. And then in 1804, Hamilton again put his uh, influence behind Burr's um, challenger for the vice presidency in the next election, and that was really uh, basically the final straw for Aaron Burr. He challenged Hamilton to a duel. Hamilton didn't really like dueling. He actually was uh, instrumental in, in, uh, in making dueling illegal in New York when his son was killed in a duel just a few years before. And uh, so they had to go, of course, to New Jersey. And the duel was held in Weehawken. And uh, Hamilton famously threw away his shot. He let Burr take the first shot. Hamilton's shot went in the air. Burr shot went into Hamilton, and Hamilton uh, died a really painful and slow death in a home in Greenwich Village. And when news came out that Hamilton died in New York, there was such an outpouring of grief. It was uh, truly palpable. It was the, uh, the most uh, public uh, uh, display of grief that they had seen in New York thus far um, at his funeral a few days later. Um, the uh, Republican-controlled Common Council uh, said that they were going to have days of mourning. Buildings were shrouded in black. Flags were flown at half-mast. Uh, the procession was enormous. It came up Broadway uh, and ended here at Trinity Church. And it represented men, exclusively men actually, 
uh, Hamilton's own wife and daughters were not at the funeral procession, but it represented men from all walks of New York society, uh, which Hamilton uh, also, uh, in his way, represented as well, or tried to bring together all of these different factions of New York society. And so we see that at his funeral, in his funeral procession and gathered here uh, uh, at Trinity Church. They actually had a portico set up outside and a very large uh, funeral uh, held for him. And Governor Morris, his friend, uh, read the eulogy, or wrote and read the eulogy, and uh, Morris said of Hamilton, it seemed as if God had called him suddenly into existence that he might assist to save a world. And Hamilton was buried here. Many years later, at the age of 94, his wife Eliza died and she was buried next to him. Hamilton's son, Philip, who was killed in the duel in 1801, also is buried here. And this grave, lots of attention paid to it in recent years as a result of uh, increased interest in Hamilton after, uh, uh, because of uh, Hamilton the Musical.